you're watching this video, you're interested in purchasing this World War II um, belt, kind of bandolier. Um, it's got five pockets. Um, you can see that they have little ways to close and at different heights, depending on what you put into them. And they open, and the inside is kind of leather and with a little, sorry, a little bit of canvas that expands on each side. Um, there's the belt. It's dated 1940, stamped. Um, there's a little crown. Let's see if I can get a good image of that. And then it says, there's a crown and it says T20 1940. There's really nice stitch work on the back. There's two buckles here. Oh, there's also a 979 right there. There's two buckles. I believe that's if you're going to put a shoulder strap. Um, there's also this hook on the side, and it is like a super heavy metal clasp. You can see there's like some um, oxidization of the metal there. Copper, or some mix of copper that's not aging quite as well, but it's solidly attached. And I believe this is how the belt buckles. But it seems like this part should go on the outside to me. And this is stamped Banana Republic um, Discovered. So they used to do a lot of decor with like safari kind of theme. I think that's why they it was probably originally purchased by a Banana Republic um, as a vintage item for their displays. And it has this buckle. This part here actually comes completely off. Um, it doesn't stay like attached to the belt, and if you purchase this item, it will be inside this pocket to keep it safe. Um, but it attaches pretty firmly, and I believe it's all original hardware, as this buckle matches the clasp really nicely. And you can see a little more oxidization there. Um, overall, it's a super heavy-duty um, tool belt slash ammo belt. And, um, if you purchase it, I believe you'll like it. Measurements for the circumference are listed on the Etsy listing. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to convo me. Thanks so much.